with C Notes. Thanks for checking me out. Today, man, we have a classic, and it's back. The Air Max 95 Neon, man. And I had this sneaker every time it dropped. And every time it drops, the price increases a little bit, but the quality also increases too, man. And once I seen these was re-releasing, and I secured the bag, these sneakers right here, went straight to StockX, man. I only brought those Jordan 4 Neon joints. I did think they were dope, but they was always a substitute for these, man. Like, how many Jordan 4s can you have? Levi, Neon, Columbia, it's so many. When it comes to this Air Max 95, no replicas, man. I had to have the originals. So today is a review on the Neon 95 Air Max, man. I mean, the sneaker is so classical that really doesn't need a review. But again, it's so classical that it might need a review. Let's get it. Unboxing time. Boom. And real quick before I get into the review, as you can see, I'm not on the uh, original side of the Grail sneaker room. I decided to bring y'all to the, um, not regular side, but, uh, Phone posits and um, Adidas and Balenciagas and Y3s, you know, none of the two two hype stuff. So, decided to get this side of the room a little bit of love. But back to the Air Max 95s. Um, I like to call them the tennis balls. I love the original classic box. Y'all know I'm big on presentation and I like to look at this box, man. It's always dope when you put the same color as the sneaker on the box. Um, I.e. what I was saying in my... I don't know when that video came out. But the Kobe Bruce Lee joints. I felt like the box should have been red, yellow. A little more Kobe Bruce Lee mentality. But Nike hit it out the park with this one, man. So I was able to secure this on sneakers app. Every time I went on that app, you just got to thank the gods because it's like... There's no way, like, to even win on that. So, I mean, we've seen the sneaker a thousand times. But something came in the packaging, and I want to check it out. Boom. I have no idea what this is, guys. It came in a sneaker box with the Air Max 95s. And at first, I was like... These joints come with an extra shoe, shoe strings, but it reads Anomical Arch Supports. So that's what it is. It's an arch support. Um, I didn't think Air Max needed any more support, but hey, shout out to Nike for that. Boom. So your classic tennis ball look Air Max, but I swear to me. The materials have gotten way better on the Air Max this year. I remember being an Air Max fiend. I had Brazils and all those countries they were coming out with that year. But these are the only ones, in my opinion, worth having. The inside sports that tennis green, tennis ball look. Super dope. Your bottom the same way. Now I've always been a fan of neon but this year I decided to get more into the neon sneakers because I brought a Jeep Wrangler the same color. Yeah so everything neon that's been coming out this year, Grinches, these, some Jordan 4's that I showed y'all early in the video I just been copping man just to match with the um with the truck from time to time. So again, no long video. You've seen one Air Max, you've seen them all, man. But the classics are back. 
and I'm happy I was able to secure them. In that comment section below, let me know, were you ever a fan of these and were you able to cop? Strangely, I thought these were going to restock crazy, but I haven't seen one yet, man. Again, I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Everybody, get rich. Sneaker notes if we talking about kicks.